This is great video that you know we share with people every year. Thousands of people here in Northeast Ohio voluntarily shave their heads. They're a sign of solidarity, raising serious cash for childhood cancer research. Tonight, only on News 5, we follow that money right into the lab. You know, you have strep throat in your, in your pocket, but you don't have childhood cancer. Corinne Willett's daughter, Cordelia, was diagnosed with neuroblastoma at just eight weeks old. At that point, it's just survival. After the heartbreaking diagnosis. We didn't know how bad it was going to get because it got really, really bad. Corinne and her husband, Jeremy, got involved with St. Baldrick's. It took the whole community to, to really help her survive. And it's that community now helping fund research into a new way to treat children like Cordelia. I personally have shaved my head for nine years now to raise money. Dr. Alex Huang just received a $150,000 award from the St. Baldrick's Foundation to continue his effort to find a cure for childhood cancer. It's nice to know that the money that raised now come back directly to Northeast Ohio to, to sustain the research. Huang and his team at Case Western Reserve University Medical School believe a child's body alone can fight cancer. We've now been able to actually manipulate the immune system and, and really figure out how cancer cells hijack the immune system. Huang tells me when properly activated, the immune system can be very effective in fighting tumor cells. There's been a lot of excitement about where we are right now, and we want to bring that to Northeast Ohio. The treatment, called immunotherapy, does not have the long-term side effects typically seen with radiation and chemotherapy. We worry all the time about well, what could happen next or what could be the long-term side effect from chemo. Cordelia, who is celebrating her fifth birthday next week, is officially a cancer survivor. Her mom is hopeful this research will lead to a permanent cure for childhood cancer. And the, and the fact that it's happening in Cleveland, that it's just so exciting. Now, part of the $150,000 from the St. Baldrick's Foundation will give Huang the chance to investigate ideas that are still in the infancy stages. He tells me the foundation is now the largest funding agency for childhood cancer outside of the National Cancer Institute. 